Hey Church, I'm Eve Durham and I'm part of the Central Manchester location. I'm currently doing Audacious College and serve on the youth team. Um, this week's theme of devotion is favourite characters from the Bible and if you would like to look at any of the other devotions that we've done, feel free to check out the Instagram, YouTube and Facebook as they are posted there daily. Um, so my favourite character from the Bible is the Apostle Paul who writes Romans. This is because in Romans he steps out in faith and he writes letters to the church about basically to make sure that they go back to the root of what Jesus intended church to be and how they're meant to act and not conform to the world and their own kind of ideas and opinions but to actually keep Jesus at the centre of everything. And this relates to me because as in um, Romans 12 2 the first part Paul says do not conform to the patterns of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind which he's saying to be in the world and not of it and for me um, part of my family aren't Christians and they they don't like that I am a Christian so they they want me to act a certain way and I guess speak a certain way and when I don't they can get annoyed so it can be quite difficult and sometimes it can be so it would be easier in i guess for me to just conform to the world because that's how they speak and their ideas and to just conform to that but you know as paul is saying that's not what god wants for us and that's not what god wants for me so speaking to them it's you know keeping jesus at the center of everything because even if they don't believe you know, the way I speak, they notice a difference and the way I act, they notice it. And even if it's, you know, a little seed that's dropped, it can still shift something. So even if they don't agree with, like, what I believe now, doesn't mean that they never will. And, you know, God wants us to be following his will and how he wants us to act and to be Christ-like. So, you know, Paul like this resonates with me because I even if they don't agree with me um it doesn't matter because you know like Paul says we're in the world not of it and God's constantly renewing us and you know sanctifying us so you know the relationship on the side of the family that don't believe in God will well is restored and God will continue to work on it but I don't have to change my belief or how I act f to suit them. So I just want to pray for you right now, if that's okay. Yeah, God, I thank you, God. I thank you for the other person on the side of the screen, God. Lord, I thank you that you know them, Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you have a plan for their life, God. And Lord, right now, we just lift them up to you, God. And we just say, God, help them to be, help them to be people of you, God. Help them to continue to follow your will, God, and to not get stuck in the ideas of the world, God, and to not conform to what the world says, God, but to conform to what you say, Jesus. So right now, God, we just lift it all up to you, God, and we just say, have your way. Thank you, God. Amen. So I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all on Sunday.